Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. So today's topic is planning and evaluation. So evaluation will be dealt in the next session. So let's see what is planning. So planning is a decision about a course of action. So we have plans for everything in life. If we are studying, we keep a plan. So if we have a tour, so we keep a plan. So where to go first, what to do first and what priorities. So we keep a plan for everything in life. So this planning is about health programs is no way different from the plan we have. It is just a systematically put into steps. It is uh, the same thing what we are doing in our daily lives. So we can easily relate this uh, steps of planning and we can always use this steps of planning and it can be applied to our daily plans of our life, our studies or whatever it is. So planning is always important to avoid unnecessary wastage uh, of time money and resources so it's better to have a plan before every action so by definition a plan is a decision about a course of action okay so this is a planning cycle so if a question of planning comes you need to draw the cycle and later it has to be explained if it is a long essay it has to be explained uh, by step by step if it is a short essay you can uh, compress your data not uh, very much elaborate you don't need to write for a short essay for four marks uh, question or eight mark question but sometimes if it comes for a long essay like uh, you have to plan a oral health programs to control dental caries in a city so that time you need to apply the concept into each steps and write and elaborate it. So let's see the steps of planning. So any plan will start with a problem. So the first step is identify the problem. Then we need to conduct a needs assessment. That is nothing but we need to know what is the actual problem. So problem is high caries in a city. So we need to know where, how, when it is starting so how much it is distributed and what is the severity of disease so for that <laughs> so purpose we collect the data so how do we collect data we go to door to door survey so we ask questions to people so we conduct survey in schools cities so wherever possible we collect data then we analyze the data which we got from the survey so after analyzing the data we need to determine priorities so this is a critical step if we don't have priorities, we our wastage of time, money, resources will happen. So we need to think of a particular group where you are planning to apply your program. Otherwise, it will go um, unaffected, like and um, without any effect on uh, actual population where it might need. To. So priorities, like if you are planning for a health program or oral health program always it should be school children or the high risk group where caries are very prone the teenagers rather than going for a adult people okay so we need to plan goals and objectives so goal is like to reduce the uh, caries experience in a city objectives like how we are achieving goal so we can plan a fluid <coughs> sorry so we can plan a fluoridation program so we can uh, keep a fluoride mouth rinse program pit and fissure sealant programs other educational programs so those are the objectives objectives are the measures how do we achieve the goal so always we should have the resources ready so we need to find out the money we need to find out the uh, manpower and we need to find out the time so if we have all the plans we should always have a plan b or backup if something goes with the manpower if something goes with uh if some dentist or some people who were ready to uh, join the program was uh, backing off so you need to have a backup plan so always you need to have a plan b that is alternative strategy regarding money manpower and time so once you have all the plans in your mind so 
with all the resources and constraints choose a best activity and implement it then we need to monitor and evaluate so always monitoring and evaluation without proper evaluation the program might fail and it will go in an ongoing phase this will act like a cycle so let's see what are the step-by-step -step procedures in planning cycle so the first is planning as we seen it is a systematic approach to define problems setting priorities developing goals and uh, objectives determining alternative strategies and method of implementation okay this is just we have seen the previous slide so why we are doing purpose of planning because to match the limited resources with many problems because we won't have fund for a big group of people so we need to limit the fund and to apply it the most demanding group so to match the limited resources with many problems to eliminate the wasteful expenditure and to develop the best course of action to accomplish a defined objective so in the broader sense we can say that planning is a formulation execution and then evaluation so this is steps in planning we are conducting after identifying the problem needs assessment priorities goals and objectives resources and constraints then implementation monitoring evaluation and revision so how do we uh, conduct a needs assessment so once the problem uh, of dental care is, is known we need to know exactly what is the situation of that city so we need to conduct needs assessment if we don't have funds for uh, conducting a survey we can uh, match with uh, match with or we can take the data from the service which has already been done and other agencies uh, who are doing the same research work or who are collecting the same data if we don't have data then we can go to the department health department we can get the data from there so usually we collect data by using questionnaire examination and personal interviews so once we get uh, started we need to collect information regarding pattern and distribution status of dental health programs what are the programs is currently happening in the cities what are the policies of government what are the funds facilities labor available and if we need preventive programs existing so all these data we will get after the needs assessment so then we need to uh, we are collecting data then we need to analyze the data so once we analyze the data we will get a clear picture which group the problem is affected most and which is the least group with problem so once we get this analysis of data so data analysis is like oh, we need to think about the number of workforce the fund available and the problems distribution in which group in gender distribution age distribution regional distribution urban rural and class wise distribution of dental caries so all things we need to uh, procure from the data and regarding the water fluidation and regarding the workforce so once we have all the data with analysis done so we need to determine our priorities priorities is like imposing people's values and judgments of what is important into the raw data so once we have the data we need to think of a group or we need to think of a plan which will be most effective for the population we cannot just uh, execute our plan into all of the population because we don't have much funds we won't have much funds for all the people so that is what planning we do we need to use the limited funds to address the many problems so setting priorities among the problems so we may have many problems like dental care is in many groups younger groups adult groups teenage groups pregnant women uh, such groups so we need to set our priorities and through the needs assessment and we need to rank the solution to problem so which group or which problem should be addressed first and addressed at most uh, most severity so that uh, priority is always uh, important in planning steps so what are the factors to be considered who needs the care most disease affecting the large number of people and high risk groups so once we have the priorities we need to 
determine our goal and objectives. The goal is a broad statement like the reduction of dental caries in a society is the goal but problem objectives are very specific because we need to tell that what we are going to do to achieve that goal of reduction of dental caries. So the measures to achieve goals are the objectives. So what we can do, we can conduct sealant programs, we can do the oral health uh, oral health examination and fluoride mouth rinse program, fluoride tablets program and we can do the referral of uh, students which require more treatment and we can do other uh, oral health promotion programs. So all the programs are uh, taking us to achieve the goal. So we need to keep a short term goal and a long term goal always if our, pro pro uh, our um, problem is uh, dental caries in a society we are planning to reduce the DMFT from 5 to 2. So currently it has 5. So in a 2 year period we are planning to reduce the DMFT to 2. Value 2. So we need to have a short term plan that is after 6 months how it should be, after 1 year how it should be and at the end of 2 years it should be 2. The DMFT value should be down from 5 to 2. Then we need to think of so we have a plan in our mind so we need to think of the resources and constraints so resources are like money manpower and time so money we need to get for our equipments and supplies for the materials and the transportation and remuneration of the people who are involving it and the manpower the dentist people and the NGO people and the voluntary workers all we should arrange for this program for a longer period and the financial resources we can contact or NGO sponsors and other people so all the resources we should keep it ready by keeping the objectives and goals in mind so for reducing a DMFT 5 to 2 what should be the amount or how much pit and fissure sealants would be required how much manpower would be required the remuneration and how much uh, uh, glass ionomer cement would be required so all these things we should have a idea in mind then we should procure our resources and always think of constraints so when we have resources we should think of appropriateness whether it is matching our objectives whether it is adequate whether it is proper because we need to fill 100 uh, teeth and we have very little amount of GSE it will not be adequate and whether our resources are effective and whether it is efficient so all these things we should think of while taking resources and always we should think of constraints we may have a lot of resources but sometimes we might not get the fund as we expected we might not uh, obtain the people who had committed earlier they might back off from our project so always constraints we should have in mind and to avoid these uh, constraints we should have a plan b because we should have a backup plan for our funds if some NGO is not giving money at the last moment we should go for another uh, NGO or another firm for getting sponsorship so always we should have a plan B in our mind if plan is not working out we should think of plan B so once the resources constraints and alternative strategies are ready we are going to implement our program so the process of putting the plan into operation is referred to as implementation so the best program is ready with us so we are going to implement this we are going to the school we are going to the society we are going to the community and do the treatment and taking the referrals to the dental colleges or the dental clinics and we are trying to reduce the dmft from five to two over a period of two years so it will be like weekly visit or monthly visit and other programs so that is we are going to implement so always we should be clear about activities and so we should be responsible for all activity and the preparatory steps uh, identify all the preparatory steps before doing that activity and check the missing steps and determine when each step should begin and end consult the organization affected by the activities uh, identify their potential problems and opportunities specify what resources will be needed specify what constraints and make sure all people are involved and know what is expected by when 
So once it is going on, we need to monitor it, we need to evaluate and revise it because continuous surveillance of all activities is very much important for the success of that program. So monitoring and surveillance, different monitoring is like uh, person to person uh, monitoring. Surveillance is like the camera which is available, which is kept for the traffic uh, rules. They won't um, immediately react to your traffic violation the image will be captured but later you will get the notice from the traffic police but monitoring is like uh, invigilation happening at the examination hall there will be a person if you are doing any malpractice you will be caught at the right time or that the uh, moment itself so that is uh, monitoring and surveillance so we need to have monitoring and both surveillance so we need to know how well the program is meeting its objectives we should lead the program based on its objective we should not deviate from it and how well the individuals are doing their jobs and equipments whether it is functioning and appropriate adequate facilities are there or not so let's summarize the whole process that is first we identify the problem that is the caries prevalence or high caries in the society <laughs> So let's summarize the steps in planning cycle. So first is to identify the problem. That was the high caries prevalence of the society. So we are conducting a needs assessment. That is we are collecting the data and we are assessing the severity of the problem existing in that community. So how do we uh, assess by collecting the data? We conduct uh, surveys, examinations, interviews or collect data from the already conducted uh, reports of the government authorities or other NGOs. So we analyze the data. By analyzing the data, we uh, get to know that which groups are affected most and which is, uh, which is a group which is uh, required, requiring the treatment and we and based on all these data we determine our priorities which group has to be addressed first so with all this in mind we develop our goals and objectives and activities call is nothing but a broad statement that is to reduce the dmft from five to two over a period of two years and the objectives are the measures to achieve the goal that is through the oral health education through the fluoride rinse program through sealant programs through referral programs so such programs to bring about the change of tmft 5 to 2 so we need to have short term and long term goals and the activities what we are planning to uh, keep in the program so after all these we need to think of the resources that is time resources and fund so what all fund we require and what all the manpower we require and the time so at the same time we need to have a plan b that is uh, based on the constraints so what are the constraints we might face the lack of funding uh, lack of manpower so we need to have a backup plan so with all these we are going to uh, think of a best plan for our program with uh, resources and constraints in mind and we are going to implement it so once it is in implementation state so we are going to monitor and evaluate it so we can keep on change the program according to our evaluation and monitoring whether it is meeting its uh, desired objectives or not so after evaluation it will go to the ongoing phase so this phase will be continued till the program ends so next video i will be explaining about the evaluation process so the criteria of evaluation and the types of evaluation okay so but that's all about the steps in planning it is very important question it might uh, ask for the long essay short essay or short note so if it is a very long essay for 14 marks or 10 marks you need to explain each steps by keeping that uh, same example in your mind reducing the dental caries prevalence if it is four marks question you can draw the picture anyway you have to draw the picture and write about uh, one or two uh, sentences in each step so i'll come up with the evaluation video Next session. Thank you.